guys, Craig Mac 378 here. I'm coming to you, to you today live with a deck tech. Uh, we're going to be running white weenie, straight white weenie on the ladder with two days to go to see if we can, a uh, linear strategy can just blast through all these crazy control decks everybody's running. Um, as most of you know, I am a uh, connoisseur of white weenie. I've been uh, known to uh, play with a lot of white weenies. So this is the deck that we're running right now, and I'll, I'll give you guys a look. So I have, a, I have one with the splash blue, one that's a straight white. Uh, so I'm going to go with the straight white one right now. Um, and I'll just go through the, the card choices. Dauntless Bodyguard, two, you know, two one with a very, very good um, additional ability. The, uh, the when you can drop this guy down and put him on a um, put him on the the Sky Marcher Aspirant or your Marshal, it's fantastic. And then in, just when you don't do that, two one body against control decks usually very good. Um, Law Rune Enforcer, that's a new one that's made it in here. It's a one two, uh, so survive Chain Whirler, that's very important. Uh, but also taps Chain Whirler and taps um, taps big creatures, which is also very important, allowing you to get the last damage through. I think he's a, a fine play right now. Um, Legion's Landing, don't we for those have to go without saying with those how good those cards are. Sky Marcher Aspirant. Um, again, we just talked about this. Um, some people run Snubhorn Sentry here. Uh, Snubhorn Sentry is only really good in the mirror. It, it's an 03. It survives Cryocranarium. I get it. It survives um, Chain Whirler. I get it. But mostly it's a 0-3. And in those matchups, it's usually not going to get to the 3-3 mark. And I just don't think it's worth the um, damage you're leaving on the table with them. Uh, so then you go to two drops. Now, normally with me, I only, only run four two drops. A lot of people run six. Um, I think five is the right number, but I can never really justify putting three uh, Adanto Vanguards and two Tide Takers and that sort of thing. So now we're doing a split of two, two Adanto and two Tomic. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what we got. Uh, so... Vanguard right now I think is positioned well mainly because I think there's going to be a less cries out there just because um, there's not as much white weenie out there right now. So there's going to be less cries of Carnarium because cries only really, really excels against white. Um, also, Adanto is far superior in uh, control matchups that use direct damage to kill these things. And with the rise of Grixis right now, uh, it's positioned really well to just keep turning sideways and just shrugging off the Amass things, the Ritual Soots. Um, all the things that just destroy creature, destroy creature, D-Spark's going to miss it. People are running less, um, less, uh, Braskleton Temps in their deck now. So, I think Adanto's positioned well. Tomic, same thing, fat ass and Tomic. Uh, I don't know how he gets that, but he's got a 2-3, he flies. The rest of the abilities, we don't care about at all. 2-3 flying, 2 mana. It's legendary, we have two of them in there. He blocks most of the things in the red decks. He survives Chain Whirlers. Um, he gets over people's heads, uh, in Gruel matchups. Good card. Um, for Banalish Marshall, don't have to go far there, uh, explain much there. Uh, Gideon Blackblade. I'll jump from two to three here. This slows the deck down a little bit, and, um, I hate doing that. I hate putting, um, um, I hate doing that, uh, but it, it, the card's really powerful. It's resilient to Wraths. It, um, it gives you lifelink when you need lifelink. It, it gets that exile thing rather quickly, so, um, it's a really good card. We could run three of it. It does make us more of a mid-range right now, uh, especially since we're only running 16 one-drops. But, so be it. That's what we're doing. Uh, History of Benalia. Uh, four of those. Cards phenomenal in a mid-range one. Um, Unbreakable Formation. Now, I'm still running two of these, and the reason I'm running two of these is that it's a good catch-all card. It's good against uh, It's good against Amir. It's good against Control. Um, it's it's mainly the counter spell against Control deck, so you we don't need the Dovin's Veto because what we're going to do is we're in Unbreakable Formation half the time when we veto the, the spell anyways. So that's what we're running. We're only running three Conclaves because we're running the Gideon Blackblade. Um, and he has the Exile, so in a, in a big pinch, hopefully we can Exile some of that. Um, and Conclave is usually the card that you draw it in your hand you're really upset about um, when you're being very aggressive. Uh, Venerated Luxon, four of. Dumbo is the best card in this deck. Uh, Dumbo dropping uh, two or three creatures is just uh, usually backbreaking against another aggro strategy. Um, and against Control, it, uh, it's usually fine. You just got to time it right. Um, here's thing, something I'm testing today. I'm not 100% sure this is correct. Uh, we're running 17 planes and three mobilized districts. Again, this is a nod to control decks. Um, it's another threat. It's a land that can't be wrapped away. Um, I can see us running into trouble on the Marshall, right? Uh, but I haven't run into that trouble yet. That's only, you know, but we're only, so we're only running one, three mana, um, you know, three solid white spells. So that's that. Um, we'll check out the sideboard. Uh, sideboard Demystify is, a. Uh, <laughs> As uh, is here, Waldo MTG would always bust my chops. I would call it Demystify, but Demystify, anyways. Demystify comes in against all of the uh, anything you're worried about with enchantments. So we're you know we're bringing in a main, mainly against a lot of the um, Wilderness Rec decks. So 
A one mana counter to the uh, to a reclamation in the board is phenomenal. A Danto against control, baffling again end against mono red, um, uh, smaller rule like rural warriors, um, that sort of thing, uh, and of course white weenie mirror match. Tokatli honor guard. We bring these in against Sultai, Golgari, um, anything with chain whirler. So these come in. Um, you don't have to drop it necessarily. If you're on the fly, you don't have to drop it necessarily on turn two. You don't want it to get burned out. But um, it's a, again, phenomenal card. If you've never played it against those decks, check it out. Breakable Formation. Also, we're bringing this thing back in against in the mirror match and uh, against control decks and a Johnny against control decks and red. Um, so this is a pretty standard uh, white weenie deck, uh, you know, updated white weenie deck. And uh, we're going to give it a, the old go in the best of three ladder. And uh, you guys are welcome to hang out and see how we do. Uh, we're pretty low right now because um, we were testing jank all weekend. But I think we'll be able to climb with this thing. So well, let's give it a whirl. Cust cutting history is, it, unless you're playing super aggressive, which obviously if you saw the hyper white decks that I run, um, I'm not averse to that or against that. Um, I just don't think it's the right call right now. You're at the mulligan. All right, it's not a bad opener, depending. Um, the bane of your deck here is usually Thought Eraser, believe it or not. Against uh, a turn two Thought Eraser is pretty backbreaking. Are we playing, are we on the play here? All right, we are, so. We don't have to worry so much about a chain whirler yet. Um, since we're on the play, <laughs> say hello to Shirt. Uh oh, got the one mana Tarmogoyf. This ought to be an interesting game. I'm excited about this game. I am excited about this game. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a version of this deck now you can run with the, because we just got another quality one drop. That's kind of cool. This guy's going to be cranking out lands. This Arbor Grazer is going to be going to be uh, shitting out all the mana. Um, especially since we picked up the one drop so we didn't lose much. You can definitely do a Hyper White deck with, um, oof, well, this is going to be nice. As long as, I don't know, I mean, I guess he has River Rebuke or something like that. But... This is a good Dumbo, guys. This is a good Dumbo. Not gonna lie. Puts him out of Arbor range. As long, if we draw something that's not three mana, we have all, all our guys have, um, they'll have a send. He's got a lot of mana though. Six mana is a lot. A Viv's not, I'm not so worried about, even if this is the proliferate guy in his hand. He, can't have, he doesn't have many lands and he, I, he doesn't have many creatures. Well, we probably want to do a lot of damage to him before he drops that. Alright, so there you go. That's that. That's what we're looking for there. I'm just going to swing in here. I'm not even going to worry about Vivian for right now. Could be a mistake. Alright, great. That's good, for the, that's good for the video. Good content. Good content. Thanks, dogs. Let's go. To, let it be a warning never to sneak up on me. Next. All right, so that's a good wallop. It's a good molly wop. He's going to be able to probably only crash this for four or five. Okay. Before. So I think still dead. How come the Arbor Grazer, pardon me, how come the Arbor Grazer didn't block me? Oh, did it block this? Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Graces for not enough. I don't know why we kept that one mana untapped, which kind of worries me. Maybe it's an elf. So he was hoping to draw an elf. Yeah, that was it. All right, good game. All right, so that's, um, that's an unfortunate, uh, for them. So what do we do here? This proliferate deck. Hmm. I don't think I want any of these. 
Maybe this. I guess this. I think this deck runs um, runs a bunch of uh, wild roof walkers. Obviously, we didn't see any, but I'm pretty sure it does. Doesn't run any removal, so we're gonna pull the unbreakable formations. I don't think I need the Ajani. Um, I think I might pull a bodyguard here and call it a day. I guess I could put these guys in. I just think I'll be able to kill them too quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the, uh, I'm gonna go with the Takali guard uh, package here, just in case they are running heavy, um, heavy. Uh, pardon me, heavy explorer package, and I think they, they should be. I mean, we didn't see any. That's always the thing. You're sideboarding and stuff. You, you, you didn't see it, so you don't know. All right, looks like a keeper. Pretty linear, uh, pretty straightforward strategy here. Like we're just gonna start casting stuff out. Hopefully, he drops a wild growth here, and we were right. Branch Walker, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and baffling on this thing. Am I? No, yeah, I'm gonna baffling on this thing mainly because if he had the wild growth Walker, I think he would play it here since I'm not a red deck. We'll peel that thing. Just keep, uh, we want to keep the aggression here. Another branch blocker, you know. So, it's funny they leave grazers on top. I mean, I get it. You get to proliferate, but it just seems odd to me. Go Gids. Good old Giddy. Uh, he's not swinging. This is one where Gideon's probably going to take one in the face here. I guess he probably could go land, proliferate, proliferate dude, and then Arboro, Grazer. I don't know. I'm giving this deck a lot of credit. I'm, I'm not sure if I should be. Flock. Now, could I, um, should I, oh, well, I guess I'm doing that. I was going to do another line there, but it did not let me. It did not let me. The old misclick. Old strategy, Craig. See what plays out for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what this guy's sideboard cards are. I mean, I, oh, it it's probably um, not Nisa. And you got to tap better than that, buddy. Um, it's probably enchant, uh, enchanting, enchant. What is it? The uh, entrancing melody. Yeah. Okay. No trade there. He's not still indestructible, right? Goes away. Yeah, we want to keep Gideon alive. This is kind of a problem. Yeah, that was weird. Sorry, guys. Should not have done that either. I should have attacked for I can still attack for this guy. That threw me for a loop there. The the fact that this thing's vigilance is pretty good, man. And I could have swung with that too. I, I just wanted to pump him. Uh, to get him over the, the three three range. This is kind of ugly. We do have removal. Uh-oh. That's a good combo. I didn't even think about that, man. This dude can just shit out <laughs> oozes like there's no tomorrow. Yikes. Alright, well this is good. For them. Not good for us. Good for them. We might be going to a game three here, unfortunately. Our deck was not fast enough here. Yeah, 
we want to get this one to six. He's not gonna let us. And the Vigilance, that's nice, man. This is a cool deck. Very cool deck. We, I think, um, we're in deep trouble here, guys. Misa's is pretty bananas. A little late with that one. I hate doing this, guys, but I don't see a, I don't see a way out of that. Nisa is a Nisa is a beating. This is the first time I've really played against Nisa like this. This is great. That ooze is gonna be a beating. We just gotta go. We're, we, we're very close to scooping here. Interesting. She's letting five get through to Nisa. All my shit lives. I guess he's gonna make a million oozes next turn. That's that's. I mean, seems like a strong play to me. A million oozes is good. And we need a conclave tribunal like now. Ooh boy. All right. Well, this is bad, guys. This is bad. No bueno. Alright, so we gotta let Gideon go here. We have, we're just gonna go game three, guys. We got we I think the only way we're gonna beat we're just gonna we have to go do game three here and um I think we gotta be more aggressive. Uh I don't think we can, we obviously can't sit there and let them set up like that. So we didn't again, uh what what I hate doing right now is taking out the Takatli. Um because it shuts down the explore package. But we did not see the Wild Growth Walkers again. So it's uh, making me think they're not here. What else did I side in? The Baffling Guns, they should stay in there. Gideon uh, seemed like he didn't like Gideon there. Um, Tomic seems good because he flies over all that stuff. These all seem fine. Luxagon seems fine. I really want these formations so I can swing into that stuff. Let's see what we... I don't think I can cut five cards, though. I can always cut a land. I've run this deck at 18 before. You need that tribunal. You need your tribunals in here for the uh, for all those those walkers. Cut down to two unbreakables. We don't want to flood on those. I'm not cutting Vinalias because we kind of need to overwhelm them. Although... I'm going to trim a Gideon, because I don't think Gideon's that good against them. The only thing Gideon really threatens against him is taking out his Planeswalkers. Other than that, yeah, we're going to get rid of him. We're, we're going to go old school here and just try to beat his face in. I don't think one lot of room. All right, let's try this. Let's give this a whirl. Let's give that a whirl. I'm gonna play first, I think. That was a mull for us too, so. That was a good hand though. It wasn't a bad hand. You know we're gonna get stuffed with that Wild Growth Walker now that we pulled all this stuff out. Let's just swing in with this guy. See if he likes that elf, how much he values that elf. He's thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Adanto. Turn three. What can he drop in turn three for me that would be bad? A Jade Light Ranger. The, uh, I mean, we haven't even seen his combo really yet. We could use a land next turn, that'd be helpful. Enter the unknown, I like that card. Always like that card. Interesting use of it too. 
So we, uh, for the record, I crafted a bunch of these decks um, yesterday, trying to crack it. Uh, it just seems like you need so many cards to um, get it going. Oh boy, this is nice. Um, it seems like you need so many cards to crack it that it just uh, it didn't. It just felt like a pile every time I did something with it. But this is an interesting take on it. I mean, I can't see this doing well against control, but say lovey. All right, buddy, you got it. No blocks. This guy's getting aggro on me now. I would have liked to land there, pretty pretty badly. I'm gonna peel his elf because we have two tribunals. And it seems like this, this deck is very mana hungry. Yeah, I don't know how people listen to this music all day. I mean, I, I know I listen to punk and hardcore, so it must. <laughs> if you guys will, let's see, a Jade Light Range out seems fine. I'm going to blank on lands here. He's, uh, let's see how many lands he has. He punts it. Yeah, he's definitely low on land, which is good. Bold strategy con. This is just a blocker, I think. I don't think he's got another land in his hand. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. No, man. All right, so we're going to have to swing here. Nah, we can pump first. I'm going to Dumbo. And then at least we're trading with this thing when we swing next turn. Um, if we draw land, we're in really good shape. Uh-oh, five mana, not good. Ooze is bad. But at least we have an answer for Ooze. So is Nisa. Nisa's no good. I don't like Nisa. I mean, good card. I don't like it for me. Nisa is way better than I gave her credit for. I'll tell you that much. No more land. We're still not drawing these lands. Can I take his land? This next card is a um, is a biogenic ooze. I'm not overly happy with things. Or an overrun. Overrun would be good. He values these things. I don't know why. Yeah, you know, you know me, bro. I had that exact same thing happen to me once. I can see it. So, um, yeah, who knows, man? That's tough. That was a that was a tough thing to have happen. I had it happen to me once at a, at a nationals, um, and they didn't they did not disqualify the person. Um, and it made me quit magic. So I can understand it. I mean, do I just bang this now? I mean, and just swing? Or do I set up for one more turn? I think I just bang this now since he drew a card. And just keep the pressure on. Flip that over. Make him use his walls. I mean, so I, I mean, I, that's what made me quit, quit magic. Um, I definitely at a, at a national, US Nationals. Um, Let's see how much, how much am I losing here? Sorry, I'm doing uh, U.S. Nationals one year. I won't, I won't name names because it's so long in the past. I don't really care anymore. Um, but I was playing in um, Pod One, which is an exceptionally good pod. Uh, playing against someone that kept fingering their deck um, while we were playing, and it was very suspicious. Uh, I hate doing anything like this. I didn't want to get the guy DQ'd because, uh, again, uh, nice guy. I wasn't sure. Um, so we finished our match. Before we got to the table, before I signed the slip, I would call. I called the judge, and just said, you know, like, uh, here's what's here's what I'm seeing. I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on. That's good, man. Still think we're okay. Wow, this guy's this guy is aggressive. Though. I gotta give him credit. Hat tech to shoot it. Um, I called the judge. They went. They deck checked him. Um, 18 of 20 lands. Um, it, 20 lands were marked. That's a good one. See, that's why we keep these in here. 20 lands were marked. And uh, they didn't DQ him. So that was that was uh, just terrible, man. I mean, I, I never recovered from that. Uh, 18 out of... So, pardon me. So 18 out of the 20 cards that were marked were lands. Um, it was obvious to me uh, when people were fingering their decks like that that something's up. Um, is that everybody? Shit, man. He's, he's keeping all the good guys. Those are our, our, our boreal grazers are doing very good right now. Um, 
But again, man, what are you gonna do? You just gotta move on. Uh, but it just made like the amount of time that I devoted to magic at the time and playing professionally. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty damning there. That, that piece of, uh, yeah, that piece of, um, <laughs> that piece of information, but I didn't see that piece of information. I don't know where you got that one. That's pretty damning. Um, who knows, man? Who knows? I hate to hang somebody in the, in the corner of public opinion, but I DQ'd them. People take the game very seriously, you know? Look at that, man. That was, that was pretty savage. I feel bad for this guy. That was pretty savage. Good game. Sorry, man. I ripped both of those. So anyways, guys, uh, we got we got a little commentary on the, on the Pro Tour there, uh, or the Mythic Championships, but uh, that's a victory. I don't know if it should have been a victory for me. I mean, I got pretty lucky there. I, I don't think that um, we were pretty far ahead, but I, I think like an unchecked ooze is pretty damn good. Uh, all right, so let's, let's play another one here. Maybe we can get one more here for the video, and then we'll move on. And I'll just, I'll, maybe we can find something a little more, um, a little more meta than that. A little more meta. Maybe that we can say Beast Boy. All right, ninety. Guess I can't really qu comment on anybody's down there, but. Seems like a de decent hand. A little fragile. Always good when they start with the Woodland Stream, boys. Unless it's Sultai. Doesn't look like Sultai. <laughs> we don't want the, this to get Spell Pierced, but I don't think he's running Spell Pierced. Ops is fine. We're dropping this now just because we, we want to flip against this guy as soon as possible. That's why we didn't drop the, the, the Edanto. And we put the same amount of damage on the board here. So as long as he didn't drop a red here, we'd be okay. <laughs> Alright, so it's still alright. And still, this is interesting. I haven't had a chance to draw that yet. Let's see if we can swing. He might be shocking something here. Uh, interesting. Um, I don't know why you play this untapped. Uh, maybe for Central Sabotage. Should have played this then. I wasn't gonna do this. I have a feeling something's getting sabotaged here, but. Yeah. Sight. Sight. Something. He said, nope, no way. I don't want a Danto. Let's try this again. This is, see, this is uncounterable four damage or three damage next turn. So, so far I like that. I mean, he might have fogs here. I mean, like, or he could have, theoretically could have uh, the pirate killing fire or the fire uh, fiery lemonade. Just shit him. It's okay. I'm doing oft. So to me, wreck. I'd like to make a new rec deck too. Um, maybe we'll do that later today. Let me switch this up. Show this, Sparky. All right, pro properties. There we go. So that was an easy one. Um, all right. So, um, so we're playing a Tamir rec deck. Uh, I think we're gonna put the obviously put some dumps buys in. I'm assuming again we're playing Tamir rec, right? We didn't see anything, but you gotta assume that. I'm not putting these in. I might put a Vanguard in to keep the aggro going. Formation's decently strong against these guys, but uh, I guess that's only if they're bringing in um, more Fiery Lemonades. I'm gonna leave the Tribunal in just in case he gets a creature. He gets a little creature on me, so I'm gonna leave two in. Um, I'm gonna pull Atomic. I don't think I'm putting the Ajani's in. I think this is fine. I think we're just going to run this. I, I I think if we get a decent start, I don't think this is a... Which one? The, you talking about... Uh, Brian, I tried that last night. That's part of the reason I'm in the 90s. <laughs> that deck is... Uh, that deck is... You want to talk about a, a just take an L against red? That deck's a take an L against red. 
But it's fun. I mean, I, I, I got very happy about it when I played it. I have to mull this shit. These are the ones, these are trap hands, guys. If he has a ship and fire, your hand is terrible. So you always mulligan that. That's better. That's a keeper on top. This is not an aggr super aggressive hand. We, we're curving out okay. But, um, Law Rune Enforcer. I mean, it's, I guess it's, at least it's not a 0 3 Snubhorn Sentry, right, guys? That's the way to look at it. Because he is, especially when you mulligan, you are not hitting, you are not hitting that. Let's just go here. Let's just jam that. Checking the, checking the syncopate there. That guy is, um, both these guys are proof, uh, are, they're, they're, uh, <clears throat> they're good against the fire lemonade, so I think we're okay so far. Alright, so he's got a sabotage. I'm not going to do the marshal this turn. So, I'm going to go district into to make. These are kind of like, um, I mean, listen, they're not that good. They're, they're almost like pre-flipped Dante. Uh, they're, they're almost like flipped to Dante's for you. Is he going to yank that dude? He protects my district. Anyone that played these decks with Mutabolts or the or the Man Lance realizes how strong these can be. And uh, so what we're doing here is we're wondering if this is if, if this is worth not being able to drop a Marshal every time in turn three. I don't know. We, I wish we had to de demystify here. We do not. All right, so we're gonna have to Dumbo here. I think we can't dump land. Can't Dumbo do both. Hmm. To Dumbo or not to Dumbo here? Is that is the question? Uh, I well, probably is going to get countered anyway. So let's stay aggressive here. I don't want to tap all my guys that they're going to get countered. In Nexus decks or against Nexus decks, Brian? That I agree that the uh, Waldo on TGs brings up a good point. Uh, I've been pl I played a bunch of Nexus this weekend again, doing some testing. And um, there's a lot of cards, a lot of new a lot of those new planeswalkers. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, are pretty banana cakes against. Uh... All right, I'm just checking damage here. Against the Nexus strategies, Dovin is just not Dovin. Pardon, yeah, Do Dovin's pretty good. I mean, honestly, Dovin, uh, the new Dovin, making all their spells cost more is good. Uh, the how do you pronounce this one? The uh, Narset. Oh, Narset, uh, the, the card Narset. I got you, right. The um, is very good against the, the Nexus decks. The uh, the one that only allows players to um, hold on one sec. All right, let's see. What's the plan here, Stan? Well, we don't have any legendary creatures. All right, so let's just um, we'll pump the brakes once here because what I would do is I put them to five. We still have, we're still lacking a clock here. Fire lemonade, always always a beating. That's better than a counter spell, honestly. Very similar to us. I mean, I guess we're getting close to getting burned out. Now, we made a few, uh, pumping this guy can, can be bad. There's a coil. All right, so this guy's a little low on uh, business. As long as that's not an explo uh, you know, explore explosion, we're sh we should be okay. And sorry for mumbling. Monday mornings are always tough for me. Monday morning magic. That's a good one to draw. Turns on the district too. Huh. Alright. What do we got here? Um Okay. It's gonna get lifelink, so I don't really give a shit about that. Pardon my French. Gideon seems good right here, guys. 
as long as this again, this has got to be not at the um, explosion. We should be okay. Even if it's an explosion right now, I think we're okay. I don't know if this guy's running Nexus or not. Pro Spiral. He's digging. He's got a bunch of cards in hand now, which is good for him. I mean, I guess Roots near. I guess what? I don't even like that one. I don't know what it could be. I mean, I guess it could be into the. Maybe it's a. All right, game over. Good GG's. All right, so there we go. Two in a row. I'll, maybe we'll do one more here, guys, and then uh, switch on. Switch her up. Alright, let's go. Keep going. Need another coffee, that's what it is. Alright, so. Wakasama. Domi arigato, Wakasama. Alright, seems like a keeper. Cards that I'm not 100% sure on right now. Uh, one of them is on the against the control deck on the on the uh, draw. Always drop your landing first. So it doesn't get thought eraser out of your hand. Um, it's a free tip. All right, so let's see what we got. Like. If he goes, if he goes, blast me with the thought eraser right here. That's always backbreaking against white. That's, that's the best card against mono white. I, I uh, literally on his triumph. Okay. All right. Well, I guess you're going to the graveyard. Well, Dumbo here. Hold this open for. Um, hopefully, hold this open for some kind of wrath effect. And to start swinging. Yeah, playing good decks is fun. Uh, playing bad decks is fun too, just in different ways. Once you let go of that whole rating thing, it's kind of liberating, baby. I'm gonna bounce something? Please. Okay. Seems fine, right? Seems fine. I mean, he really doesn't want me to flip this. I get it. All right, we are going to just um, we're going to take this out just because I find it annoying. Drop the law rune again and keep open mana. Seems like a stall tactic there. So we don't want to walk into a wrath when we cannot. Obviously, what do we got? A draft code. Um, you know, I don't think I do, man. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no because I I don't have one myself. But um, oh, you mean you mean from the uh, Pro Tour? No, I, didn't, I do not have that. What's up, Doomster? Did you have fun at that wedding? It looked like you had a blast. Okay, Dumbo down. Now do I overextend, right? Like that's another, that's the question now. Do I overextend now? I don't think, I think the answer is never overextend. Um, but do I think these two are gonna get there? Uh, do I trust that this guy doesn't have a Kaya's Wrath? No, on all those things. But you know what? It's like I had to say against Control YOLO. They don't always have it. He seems pretty excited when they start tapping cards like that. I think he, I think he might have outplayed me. Wakasama might have outplayed me. Team Ginger is a strong team, man. The first love of my life was a Ginger. Don't do it to me. All right, just to fire. That's good. Getting some text here, guys. Hold on. Oh, Blast Zone is, ban is bananas, guys. Blast Zone is the real deal. 
That card, uh, it's the ability to, to put two tokens on it so quickly, man. Uncounterable Wrath. I mean, it's just Blast uh, is really good. Yep. What do you just do? Just draw a card? That's ballsy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. See how it plays out for him. All right, so we're going to we're gonna gank that thing, I think. Or we're just going to ignore it. We better gank it. I hate doing it, but you got it, man. My theory is never leave uh never leave the fairy on the board when you can take care of it. We flip that pretty good shape now. Now we can just start shitting out little soldiers here, and then uh, see what happens. See what happens. Ooh, I'm still bold strategy there. Sorry guys. All right, there we go. Good game. All right, so we've got Esper Control. This is an old matchup for me. Commence the end game is pretty good, guys. All right, so we want this. We want this. We want this. I don't think I want this. Uh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I want this. All right. So now, what don't we want? We want to leave the tribunals in just in case, especially against this, because they're probably going to be windmill slamming um, down the old uh, bane slayer. We're going to leave those in. Same thing I just said for for the bane slayer. Um. We're gonna pull some Luxodons. Luxodons, while great, unless uh, they're really good against Craig Cranarium and they're good, they're probably one of the best cards in the, in the deck. But you don't want to necessarily be pausing your aggression and uh, flipping that over. I'm gonna pull a Tomix, the Tomix here, um, and give that a go. I wish I, I wish we could get more Gideons in there, but uh, that's about it. You want to stay aggro enough? You want to have some answers to Baneslayer Angel or Lyra? Probably not. If they, if they play Baneslayer Angel, a simple Judge would get you the win. So, it can. You just gotta remove a token from it, but you know what kills tokens, which is really good. That the black finale, um, or whatever you call it, finale, is really good. Um, I think that'll start seeing more play. All right, this is interesting. Again, when you don't want to draw these, you always draw them. Maybe he's gonna windmill slam down something that I need it for, though, and then it'll be the gods of magic helping me out. I'm I'm still team team bolus here, guys. All these other planeswalkers can eat it. All right, Bri. Peace out. Th hey, Waldo, thanks for hanging out. What do you do that for? Oh, I had a creature. Um, that's why. This is an interesting card. Chainer's Edict was great. This card's not bad. Is it an instant? Yeah, it's an instant too, so not a bad card. Always play this next. I should have played that. Looks like he's got a decent start against me. Bouncing this is strong. Strange, not strong. This card comes out most of the times for me against uh, aggro decks, but to each their own. My hand's a little loosey goosey here, guys. We could have used uh, something different than these lands uh, in the last couple turns, but here we are. All right, so the play here drop the district. Um, lines. I could try to tribunal this. Don't really care. Um, I could try to swing in with this and hopefully protects it. Then I can drop the Ajani. I don't think dropping the bodyguard makes any sense right now. So I'll, we're going to try that line. If I miss a, a points of damage here, that's fine. I don't I don't know if he wants to protect this thing or not. Doesn't look like it. So let's just go for the old Ajani. See what happens. Of course, they could be watching. Oh, they don't have any counter magic, which is always good. I'm going to bring a guy back. If I walk into a wrath, I walk into a wrath here, but if, we, if I walk into a Lyra, that's fine too. Yep. That's a good one. That's a good, that's a spicy meatball. I realize it's not permanently um, good. So this guy's three to pump. So I can make three mana do that. Tap it. I think I'm just going to go. I think we're just going to get it like this. We're just going to get it old school, I think. Pretty strong opener. I mean, obviously, a sweeper here is real bad times for Becky. But um, other than that, I like where we're at.
Cry Chip. Cry's a beating, man. Cry's always a beating. Alright, so that that's good. <laughs> that's good for him. Bad for us. Bad times. Um, we're going to bring a guy back. Can, do we have any guys to bring back? No, we don't. So, Craig, do not bring a guy back. I'll pump some dudes. And... I don't think I missed that, but that's close. Play a land. District's going in next time. So no Lyra here. Let's see what we got. This is going to be good and unchecked. Another Lyra. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? He's going to have to swing with that Lyra soon. Conclave Tribunal. <laughs> Guys, let me just tell you. You're better, better lucky than good, you know? So there's that. Did he? I didn't have to cancel that one. Better lucky than good. Always that. I would call a judge on me. Deck check me. No. Nope. But here we are. 3 0. Alright, so that's going to be the video for today. Um, I don't think this hurt us. So we'll check out the deck one real quick. We got some decent matchups here. What do we play against? We played a, a Temir Rack and an Esper deck. That's a fair, fair enough uh, thing. And, and that weird blue deck that almost beat me in the beginning. Um, so here's, let's just go over the deck real quick again one more time. I'm happy with everything here. The Law Rune Enforcer, we didn't see anything because we really didn't play any aggro decks. We didn't play any red decks, which is very odd. If you're grinding in right now, play red. Um, everything else I'm pretty happy with. The Gideon, I'd like sometimes it feels amazing, sometimes it feels clunky. Mobilize District uh, was a nice option to have. We never really needed it. It never really hurt us. Uh, sideboard wise, sideboard seemed fine. Uh, breakable formations, you guys still see the power of that card. Um, yeah, so uh, do I think this deck right now? If I'm if I'm trying to grind into the top 1,000 with one day left, I'm playing a white weenie deck. I'm playing a red deck, or I'm playing a control deck. I'm really comfortable with. Um, I wouldn't be trying to experiment and break the format if you need to make that top 1,000. Um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, that's a deck. Uh, Team Ether guys, uh, I will load this up to Ether Hub and. Um, yeah, drop me a follow, uh, CraigMac378 and CraigMac underscore. Peace out.